Hey blog watcher, Steve Petruski here with the Lander team. I hope that you had an incredible Christmas and an incredible New Year's. And as we move into 2018, the topic that I want to talk about are the things to avoid if you're planning on purchasing a home in 2018. But before we get into the topic, I do want to remind you of a couple things here on our website. If you are looking to sell your home, click this button here. If you're looking to purchase a home in 2018, click this button here. All right, well, let's dive right in. We have six things to briefly talk about as we purchase a home in 2018. We want to avoid some of these things. The first one would be don't shop for a home without an agent. We know that looking online is a great way to start checking out the lay of the land, looking at some of the homes that are on the market. But when you get ready to start the process of purchasing a home, I would encourage you to use a professional agent. Their job is going to be helping you move through the process nice and smooth. That's going to be writing the contracts, negotiating the winning contract for you, getting the right purchase price for you that's going to fit you and your family. So make sure that you utilize uh, a professional agent. Secondly, uh, don't just meet with one lender. A lot of times people who are moving into the home buying process will meet with one lender because they require W-2s, they require tax returns, they require pay stubs, and sometimes they don't want to provide those for more than one lender. But I would encourage you to make sure that you're reaching out to a minimum of two to three lenders so that you get the best rate, so you get the best loan type, those kinds of things as you're moving into purchasing a home in 2018. Now I also want to encourage you that after you pick your professional real estate agent to help you, to never understate your budget. If you are looking to purchase a home for $200,000, I would encourage you to not tell your agent that you can only afford a house for $150,000 because what could happen is that agent is going to send you homes that fit your budget and what you're looking for. But if you can afford a house that's $200,000, there might be that perfect home out there that they could show you and you could potentially miss out on if you don't tell them what your actual budget is. Also, point number four, don't make lowball offers. In this market, in this day and age right now, there's a lot of great things happening. And if you go to make a lowball offer, you could potentially upset the seller. You could potentially upset them so much that they don't even want to make a counter offer and allow you to move forward within that process of the home that you've fallen in love with. So make sure that you communicate with your agent, you talk about uh, list to sell ratios. Currently right now here in the Kingman market it's 98% of list to sell ratios. So you want to make sure that you understand the numbers and make sure that you pick an agent that understands those numbers as well so that you're making the right offer on the house that you have fallen in love with. I also want to encourage you two more things. Make sure that you don't forget to budget for closing costs. Anytime that you purchase a home, they're going to be closing costs. They're going to be a loan um loan fees, there's going to be title and escrow fees, there might be some other fees that come along with that, so make sure that you have budgeted for that. The best person to ask in regards to that would be your professional real estate agent that you've picked, your lender that you've chosen, and even the title and escrow agent that you've decided to use within your transaction. They're going to be the best uh, gauge for you in regards to what you might have to come in with at close. Also, I want to encourage you as you get into your home purchasing process, maybe you've picked your perfect home, you have an, an offer accepted on that. One thing you don't want to do is make large purchases after that. Your credit score is important, your, your mortgage is important, and any time that you add things on, maybe you purchase a car, maybe you max out credit cards because you want to buy furniture, those kinds of things for the new home, I would avoid all of those things until your house closes because all of those could affect your credit score. More importantly, they could affect whether or not your mortgage application gets rejected or accepted. So be very mindful of those six things. So let me run through them one more time. Make sure that you don't shop for a home without an agent. Don't meet with just one mortgage lender. Try to find two to three. Don't understate your budget. Don't make ridiculously low ball offers because that can really affect uh, your opportunity to receive or win that perfect home uh, through your uh, negotiations. Don't forget to budget for closing costs and don't make big purchases while you're in that process of purchasing a home. I hope that those six tips will help you this year in 2018 as you move forward in purchasing a new home. Again, thanks so much for watching this blog. We hope as the 
the Lander team that we have an opportunity to help you out this next year in 2018 and to welcome you to our family. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us at the number below. And again, hope you have a great 2018. Thanks so much.